In Dakota, a winter storm has covered much of the KSFY viewing area in a blanket of white. We have continuing coverage. And make sure you know how to operate your snowblower. They can be dangerous. We also have an update this morning on Sunday night's stabbing, which sent one woman to jail. And good morning, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. She's May. And this is Good Morning Dakota. It starts right now. KSL Dakota. Hi, everybody. 530 on this Tuesday morning. It is going to be one of those days. Let's uh, talk about road conditions first here in Sioux Falls. Mm -hmm. Streets very choppy. Mm -hmm. Clouds uh, have gotten out, but yeah. not very good. I mean, the, it's still a little bit slick. We had that sleet rain for a while yesterday. Which, yeah. You know, well, that's what I was noticing when I came yeah. down 12th. Uh, snow is still falling. Plows are out getting the uh, snow off the emergency routes. But uh, what you've got to be aware of is that there's a pretty glaring sheet of ice underneath all that snow. So there's going to be a lot of slipping and a lot of sliding around this morning. So far, we have 128 schools entered in our school delay and cancellation computer program. Those schools running at the bottom of your screen in alphabetical order, so watch out for that. Yep, know when to send the kids off to school. If they're even going today, a lot of those schools that called in have canceled classes, right. including the Sioux Falls School District. Mm -hmm. They will not have any school today. Uh, it's, you know, because of these conditions that we've had. We called around this morning. Many of the outlying counties, the sheriff's departments have right. reported slick roads, roads that aren't even passable. We also have, you know, there, there's no travel warnings in effect. Uh, the highways and interstates within South Dakota are all still open. Everyone's just saying use extreme caution if you're going anywhere. And what today. is it? Is it is it Mitchell that's advising no travel in the city in itself? In the city of Mitchell, yeah. We'll be talking to J.P. Skelly from KORN Radio, and the the city has asked that no travel whatsoever. If you don't need to go anywhere in Mitchell, don't go. And also, uh, Brule County authorities believe they have 14 inches of snow on the ground, mm -hmm. and again, the snow is still falling. So let's begin KSFY comprehensive coverage. Meteorologist Patrick Greasegrabber is in the Weather Center. Thanks. Live continuing coverage of the winter storm now. Robert Wilson joins us live. Yeah. Robert, are you there? I am. Good morning. And it is slick out here. Uh, so far, it looks like we've got a pretty good uh, packed uh, ice and snow on the main roadways. Uh, crews have been out plowing those, but uh, we've still got packed snow on the main roadway. Some of the side roadways where they plow have uh, pretty big uh, piles of snow left in them from uh, just from not uh, being able to cruise getting out there, not quite yet. And then also from uh, piles of uh, snow that has been piled up uh, from